So, made some stippling machines. Gonna have Elisa test them out. And then made this and had to do my own little thing, of course, because every time I work on something. Has this ever happened to you? You sick of falling asleep when you're stippling because you're so bored of it? it takes so long, your hand cramps up? Ouch. Or maybe you poke yourself in the eye, double ouch. Oh, it's so frustrating how much time it takes. You, you lose your pen, you can't find it. Well, I got something for you. This video is sponsored by Squarespace. So in the last video, Elisa was made some stippling and said it was so shitty. Do the ink part first when you're feeling fresh because it's pretty tedious. Pretty tedious. Craziness, here we are. I so I thought I would try to make some and also buy some little uh, stippling machines. Starting with this one, just got off Amazon, it was $68. And you just press the button and it, it, it's out of battery. So we're gonna charge it up and we'll get back to that later. Then we got this here guy also off Amazon. Uh, it's a little $66 vape machine. You just plug it in, then plug that into a stereo. I, I don't I don't know how, how to do that one. We'll get to that later too. And then my favorite one, the $9 Drill Master Engraver. Drill your nine mount and drill. Okay, anyways, you can just unscrew that and take the engraver out. And then I had the pen, so I just took that apart to see if that will fit. And it does, it is so, so easy and convenient. Just cut off that tip, just the tip. What? Uh, put the screw back in. There you go. Ooh, that gesture. Uh, can't make a tip joke, joke and then do that gesture. That's that's too much, Brian. You're grounded. So I it was moving too quick, and so I thought maybe I'd take it apart and see how it worked. Looks like that goes up and down. The dial like moves this thing left and right to do the variable speed. So I thought if I just like cut the little wall there so that had more room to go it could potentially be slower oh, we'll see i'd put it back together surprised i didn't break it and it was basically the same but i liked it i i, I think it's gonna work out kind of tested to see how i could get the lines to get rid of like the drag mark and if i just hold the pen in the right angle it would do it back to our vape aka the tattoo gun it has a little pedal and that's the needle so see how that works it just pushes that and the needle comes out ouch and it's like a little silicone rubber thing so i thought maybe if i just cut off the needle part boing, okay, then put it back together and shove a pen in there kind of like i did the engraver doesn't fit so we're just gonna cut it and make it a little bit bigger a little bit bigger now it fits and that yeah that that should work so again cut the tip stop Brian. you're grounded already and look, look at that thing, look at that thing wiggle, look at that thing go. So with that, you can adjust the speed. If it's so fast, it kind of turns into lines. So we got to speed that I liked, I like that at 40. And yeah, I think that's going to work. Oh, last, the cut, cut let Lola. Cute, that cute little Lola. Um, it was nice. You couldn't really press hard, otherwise it turned to a line, so you really had to let it just hit the paper. This moves. That's recording. This is recording. Elisa comes in a frame. Oh, hey, my God, did you... <laughs> and one drop. Okay, so this is the deal. I made you... I made these for you. Ooh, I love... So the game plan is to have Elisa test them out. Those three ones, and just a normal stipple. I kind of don't want to explain how they work. Are, are you serious? A little bit. This is going to be an adventure. Time to go. All right. Do you want to swing this back in a frame and record? So I really did just let Lisa figure it out and see what she thought of the things kind of just blind. Some blind testing. You can't even see the separate dots. I, I don't know why it reminds me of like a tap dancing little tiny man. The faster I move my hand, the farther away the dots are going to be. The past. Ooh, now noting that information. So with that, we're good to go. And she figured out how to make the dots better. She taped off the board. What kind of board is that? I can't remember. Then she marked down the 
and made a grid on the image that we're gonna do. I love this guy's statues. Oh, and then she just transferred that grid onto the paper. Yeah, blah, 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 blah. And sketched out kind of a rough draft of how it's gonna look. Then she taped off each side, starting with this bottom left corner. She's just gonna use her hands. I feel for her. This took so long and sucks. Also, because it was a ballpoint pen, you had to press pretty hard. So we're gonna start again tomorrow. So I found them, the love of my life. They're always there for me. We're always out doing things together on adventures. And oh, the thing I love about most is it's everything I could want and more in one little package. And then there's no like hidden fees. They just, they, they have everything I want. I don't, really, I don't have to pay for anything than what I see. <laughs> but for reals, love Squarespace, they're the love of my life been with them for forever and i'm gonna have be with them for forever so like i said really anywhere that i have internet i have access to my online site and can customize it and edit it from they even have an app but for reals my favorite thing is that it's all in one place there's no external or like hidden fees everything is very transparent with the pricing and i recently learned that like with other website builders if you want to add something to your site usually you have to like go get an app from like some external app store and that will also cost money and before you know it you have like a billion different apps from different different developers and it just slows down your website and it costs you a fortune so love squarespace for that it's all in one place and it's so user friendly and you can actually go and make your free website today no credit card needed just go to the link in the description and then when you do purchase something don't forget the coupon code schmoo to get 10 percent off your first purchase it's a new day more more stippling to do stip stippler i'm just a stippler stippler no stip uh, there's a joke there somewhere i hope you can find it and some more and more and more yeah. two and a half hours later her hand's dead can't believe if she started with that one i guess that's probably good starting fresh with that one start with your hands hurting so just taped off the next piece and this one she's gonna use the engraver Already, I can tell that the texture is really cool. That one only took how long? 40, 50, 50 minutes. So, not bad. A little less than half of the time it took to do it by hand. Maybe a little slapper, but, anyways, then she's gonna do this top left with the stipple pen. And it's looking good. I feel like there's so much detail in this piece right here. And I didn't like the stuff pen because like you couldn't really push hard. You gotta let the thing hit the paper. But she made it look easy. To take off the tape and fill in the little gaps. Two, two, almost two hours. Oh, she forgot to put the time for one second. Oops, so yeah, we'll just say around two hours. So lastly, the tattoo machine. Ugh, this one, the tip, the, the pen tip was like sitting in there. It wasn't stuck in there. So she, she said she didn't like that one as much, but we'll get to that in a second. So taking off the tape and let's have a, a brief, a debrief. Oh, don't debrief me, a, a rundown. You want to share a seat? Um, little rundown. That took so long. Too long. But there are some tools that were really fast. That doesn't mean they looked really good, but they were fast. The first section, which is the control, AKA by hand. Okay. Um, that one took so long. My wrist was cramping. I couldn't get it dark enough. Usually I would use a micron pen, but because everything else was ballpoint, I was like, oh, I have to really like stay consistent. Oh. Picked this section for the, the engraver that's mm -hmm. what it is, because there's a lot of black you can also see that it like made these cool grooves in the illustration board so it actually has like a nice feel to it this one's my favorite i like that it's very contrasty mm -hmm. i really had to map out what my moves were gonna be because i was like i only have one shot to do this and i had right. to move so fast like i kind of wish i'd like 
left more white spots mm, here. Yeah. I think that would have been really cool because like with this like had like some cool like white stripes. It'd be in cool there. to come back through with like some white highlights in it. Yeah. <laughs> I went to this one. This was the actual stippling of blue, this uh -huh. guy. At first I hated it, and mm -hmm. what was crazy is like, I literally was falling asleep. Like, my <laughs> eyes were drooping, I was getting so bored. The double time when it was moving faster, like, it was also made the dots darker. Okay. Because there was like, more pressure. And I just liked that I could get a variety of values, and I just, I'm really glad I did it with this section, because this section had the most detail. Mm -hmm. And then moving on to probably my least favorite of the tools, mm -hmm. the tattoo gun. Since the pen part isn't attached, mm. I'd have to hold it in between my fingers. There's a company that makes attachments to those guns, to those machines, that are just pens. So I bet that would have made it so much easier. Yeah, for future. Because this is like, once you let go of the tip, it was just like, if I'm gonna look at the positive of it, it was great because it helped me embrace not being a perfectionist. We're just gonna see where this takes me. And it's not exact, but mm -hmm. it kind of does have some fun textures in there Yeah, I too. do like the fill color, the fill texture. Yeah. So, if you were to do this whole project over again, and you only could use one machine, what would you use? If I wanted to do something very exact, mm -hmm. I would use the stippling tool. If I wanted to do something that looked cool, like, and different, I the engraver. The engraver. And I love how the flowers turned out with that one. Yeah, the flowers are so good. Well, all right, I'm gonna play with this for a little bit. But thank you so much. Yeah. Love you. Love you. <laughs> so I made this with the tattoo gun and different colored pens. I'll probably make a little short about doing that, but I thought I'd just cut open this little face and throw my piece behind it for kind of a little collaborative piece. Wink. We're stuck with how this turned out. And I think, honestly, if you can get that engraver tool, I got it from Harbor Freight, everything else I got from Amazon. I think you could, could make something super rad and in half the time impress all your friends, be like, wow, look, look at all these little dots I did. It only took me 20 hours. But little do they know, it only took you maybe one two maybe two it's still kind of a longer project but so much easier so cool hope you loved it love you and bye all right so be sure to like and subscribe go ahead and hit that bell notification and yeah